quiet as a mouse. Life's an everyday adventure. That's my philosophy. I have a lot of really nice friends, but the two that make me laugh the most are Marco and Lily. Today they were both coming over to play hide and seek outside. But as we stood looking out the window, the big dark clouds were moving fast towards us. My mother tried to cheer us up. Don't be disappointed. There are lots of fun things to do inside, like coloring or storytelling. It's just not a great day to play outside. It will be raining cats and dogs any minute now. We all looked at my mother. Raining cats and dogs, I questioned. What do you mean? It can't really rain cats and dogs, can it? I asked. My mother smiled and said, No, sweet pea. It's just an expression or phrase that means it will be raining very hard. My toes began tingling madly in my moccasins. Oh, uh, why cats and dogs? Why not elephants and giraffes? Marco inquired with real enthusiasm. Elephants and giraffes are Marco's favorite animals. Then Lily asked, why not ducks and fish? They like water. <laughs> Lily liked to be logical. My mother explained, since animals have a special sense or sensitivity to weather changes, some people a long time ago thought the animals were changing the weather. Cats represented rain and dogs represented wind. So when there was a big rainstorm, they would say it's raining cats and dogs. We giggled for a while about raining dogs and cats as my mother left us to play. We thought about all sorts of things, big cats and little dogs, big dogs and kittens. We wondered if they chased each other as they fell from the sky. We laughed so much my face hurt. We giggled our way into drawing and coloring cats and dogs. As we colored, we overheard my mother on the telephone saying, Oh no, they're happy as clams. We looked at each other with wonder. What does that mean? I asked no one in particular. Curiosity got the better of us. We ran to find my mother. Marco spoke first. Uh, what does happy as clams mean? Aren't they just little squishy sea creatures that live in shells and hang out at the bottom of the ocean? My mother seemed really impressed with Marco and said, Good for you, Marco. You're exactly right. Clams are shellfish. They lie in the shallow water and bury themselves in the sand. Lily piped in quickly, but how do you know clams are happy? My mother explained that it was another old expression that fishermen used. When the tide rolled in and the water was higher, the clams lying in the sand were safe from being scooped up by the fishermen. That should make them happy, the fishermen would say. Happy as clams in high water is the original expression. Once again, we were rolling with laughter. As we laughed, I thought about happy clams. I wondered if they actually did smile. Soon, I found myself imagining us all as clams with happy faces. It was a silly fest to be sure. When we went back to our coloring, Lily wanted to add a little paint to her picture. She found my groovy red sparkle paint. The top was stuck, so she gave it a really hard twist and splat! Oh, it suddenly popped open and paint went flying all over. Surprised, Lily cried, Oh no, your mom's gonna have a cow. Now we were surprised too. A cow, I asked as I looked at Lily a bit confused. My mother must have heard all of the noise as she came quickly to check on us. She saw our shocked faces, then saw the red paint splattered all over the floor. You're not going to have a cow, are you? Lily asked almost in tears. No, sweet Lily. Of course I'm not going to have a cow, but let's clean this up so the paint won't stain the floor, my mother said gently. After lots of scrubbing and rubbing, the paint was all gone. Then I remembered to ask my mother, how could you have a cow? My mother laughed and told us it's another one of those funny expressions, which means getting really upset about something. 
We asked her a bunch more questions about the funny phrase. She explained that it came from an old expression they had in England that was about having kittens. If someone got really upset, they would say they were having kittens. Somehow, over time, it turned into a cow. I think I'd rather have a kitten than a cow, I said, which got us all laughing again. My mother looked at her watch and asked, Have you finished your coloring? We all nodded. Perfect. If you put everything away and meet me in the kitchen, I have a little surprise for you, she said as she smiled and walked out of the room. We cleaned everything up and raced to the kitchen. All done, I proudly stated as we tumbled in. My mother gave us a mysterious look as she took her special chocolate chocolate chip cookies out of the oven. A little birdie told me that you would all like a cookie before Marco and Lily go home. She said as she gave each of us an enormous warm cookie. With chocolate all over my face, I asked with wonder, a little birdie told you? Aha, one last expression for the day. This one comes from ancient times when birds were trained to carry messages quietly and secretly. Now it's just a fun way to express a little secret or thought. My mother said as she cleaned our chocolate-filled hands and faces. As I went to bed, I thought about all the expressions we heard today. I learned that not only are they funny, but they're also filled with history. Now, I think I'll be quiet as a mouse. Molly Moccasins, Everyday Adventurer. <laughs>